if you also used to do this, but when I was a child, I would play with the same Sim over and over and over again. Every single time I played The Sims, I would go into Cass, I would remake the same exact Sim over and over and over again. She'd have the same hair, the same outfits, the same traits and lifetime wish, and then I would go into the game, play the same storyline out, and then just do it all over again the next time I played The Sims. I don't really understand what I thought was so fun about this because I would literally play the same way every single time. So I was thinking that to honor my childhood self, but also to make fun of my past self, we could go back and try to recreate this sim. I'm going to start in The Sims 3 because that's where it all really began, and then I want to try to recreate her again in The Sims 4. The Sims 3 was my first ever Sims game, so this kind of feels like home to me. I played this obsessively when I was a child, and honestly, that kind of worked out for me because now I play The Sims for a living. The whole obsessive Sims playing thing Thing never really stopped. What did stop was my desire to just play with the same sim over and over again. I'm not kidding, back when I was a kid I used to use the same five traits, and that's one thing that's really changed about how I play the sims, because back then I used to only ever give my sims good traits, so they'd be like neat and family oriented and a good cook, but now more of my sims have like bad traits, like evil and high maintenance and clumsy and things like that. I guess I just prefer my sims to struggle now and like be bad bad people sometimes. So back in the day, my sim used to always be named either Elise or Eloise. Every single time, I was obsessed with that name for some reason, and I didn't really care what their last name was, I would kind of just like randomize one. That part didn't really matter to me as much, but every time her name was going to be Elise. And then as far as traits go, every single time they were artistic, family oriented was the most important part, that was like the defining factor of the sim. There's a lifetime wish in The Sims 3 called Surrounded by Family, where you're your whole life goal is to raise five kids from babies to teenagers, and I always used to play with that one. Every single time, without fail, every single Sam had that aspiration, so they obviously had to be family oriented. I also really loved the hopeless romantic trait because I like to play a legacy challenge type of save, except it wasn't really a legacy because I would just play like one generation. They would always be a natural cook, and then they would also always be neat, and those were the five traits that I picked every single time. I gotta be honest, this is like so uninteresting to me now. This is such a standard legacy challenge sim in my mind. So after I picked traits, I would pick their favorites, and every single time they'd either have pancakes or waffles as their favorite food because it was like easy for me to have them make. Always pop music every time, and then pink as their favorite color. I didn't really care about their voice, so I wouldn't really adjust that. And then because I was a Leo, I would make them a Leo every single time. I never really cared about their face too much, so I wouldn't really bother adjusting it, but I did always always give them freckles every time, and I made sure that they all always had green eyes. I'd always use these eyebrows on the first row, and then I'd make their eyelashes as long as possible. I would like max it out. For some reason, I was obsessed with this reddish hair color, and this is so embarrassing, okay? But I would always give them this hairstyle every single time. Every single one of my sims looked like this, without fail, every single one. This is just a base game hairstyle, because I only ever had the base game for many, many, many years, but this is what all of them looked like. Granted, she probably looks a little bit better because I've got my settings up higher. <laughs> I was playing on like a potato of a laptop at the time. That's probably why I didn't care what their face looked like because you couldn't see it, so I, I kind of just adjusted the big stuff. For some reason, I really liked this shirt. I would use this one all the time. I would change its color on occasion, but this was like kind of the main shirt that I would use. And I don't really remember what pants I would give them. I probably just gave them jeans. I don't think that I would have thought about it that much. I've never really been like super into creative sim, and when I was a kid, I'd be like, oh, you can barely see their shoes through their pants, so I wouldn't even pick shoes. I remember thinking this coat was like the coolest thing in the world. I also used this dress a lot. Honestly, pretty much any of the base game dresses I would have used. There's not that many options in the base game. I have some CC right now, but generally by default, there's not, there's not too many base game dress <laughs> options for formal wear. I really liked this sheep dress as sleepwear. You might be noticing a theme, and it's that I didn't really often change the colors of things. Cass has always been kind of laggy, and it was hard for me 
to do that when I was younger, so I didn't really bother. This is kind of what I would pick is the athletic outfit. I used to have them wear this swimsuit and then be worried that I was gonna get in trouble because it was like so scandalous. <laughs> and it's not even really, but I used to think the v-neck was like so deep, so it was so cool and fancy. My parents were never strict about anything like that, like they couldn't have cared less, but I used to worry about it sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, I used to use this shirt so often because I loved the pink stripe version of it. But that's the sim, that's the whole sim. Took me like two seconds to make, I was really good and really fast at it. And then from here I would go into game, move into Sunset Valley. I like to play legacy challenges, so I would have tried to live on this big empty lot, but right now it's replaced with the horse thing. But I would just go to an empty lot, try and meet some man, marry him, and then have five babies. And then I would raise them, get bored, and then do it again. And listen, I know it sounds boring, but it was like really, really fun for me when I was 10 years old. I so badly wish that I had access to those saves so I could go back and actually make fun of them. The best we can do is just recreate, and now I kind of want to go recreate her again in The Sims 4. I'm going to try really hard to channel 10 year old Kayla energy with this. So for starters, that involves making the Sim really pale, not changing anything on her face, but giving her green eyes. I actually might change her eyes. I used to use these eyes all the time when The Sims 4 first came out. At this point, The Sims 4 has been out so long that we can make fun of our original Sims 4 Sims 2 because I was only 14 when it came out. And I would have given them these freckles if we had them at the time. These are new, but these are objectively the best freckles in the game. The new growing together ones are so good. I'm more of like an all over face freckles girly these days because it kind of looks more like me, but I would have preferred these when I was a kid. To be honest, I think that this was kind of an attempt to make what I thought I would look like as an adult or like what I wanted to look like as an adult. So the Sim would have like my dream hair and my eye color and my freckles, but like my mom's fashion sense because that's all that I knew about adults. And oh my God, this hair, I would have died for this hair in 2009. This was by far my favorite hairstyle in The Sims 4 when it first came out too. I used to use this hair all the time in The Sims 4, but like my first ever Let's Play on YouTube, The Sim had this hair. I loved this hair. I probably would have given The Sim just like some regular base game jeans because I wouldn't have had any packs. I'm like looking back and trying to remember the outfits that I liked the best when The Sims 4 first released. I'm like looking back trying to remember what outfits I liked the best when The Sims 4 first released and I used to think that this shirt was so cool. I used to use this plain t-shirt a lot. This one by far was my most used t-shirt though because it was so good. It just like tucked in nicely and everything. This one though, this sweater, hands down in this color, this was like my number one favorite cast item. And I probably haven't used this in five years. I never give any sim this thing anymore, but this was like my favorite one. And to this day, I still just dress my sims in Converse. This would have been like a standard simsy sim outfit if I made this sim when I was like 10 years old. And I wouldn't bother with accessories or like any sort of extra things like makeup even. I just didn't really care and I wanted to be out of cast so I could play the game and decorate my house and stuff. And I would decorate the house differently each time. It just was the sim that was the same. I feel like the equivalent of the family aspiration in The Sims 4 is the big happy family one. So I probably would have picked that. Definitely, definitely would pick family oriented. And I feel like I'd probably also pick creative. And then it gets hard because we only have the three traits instead of five. These two are for sure definites for me. I think the other one could go in between neat. It could maybe be romantic. I could see myself picking that. I could also see myself picking the soulmate aspiration as a kid. I would have loved that if we had that in The Sims 3. But I'm kind of trying to make generic legacy challenge sim and I think these are the traits that I would have picked for that. Oh, her name would be Elise, obviously. And then I just randomize a last name because who cares? And if I had the choice, she would have had she, her pronouns. We just didn't have that in The Sims 3. We have likes and dislikes now, so we can like pink. We can like pop music, of course. We have way more options now. I probably would have picked a lot of the like good ones. So like pet enthusiast, I would have deemed that as good. Family motivated, cerebral, nature enthusiast. I idealist, optimistic, funny, hardworking, high energy. Honestly, I would have picked yes to most of them and then had them like dislike argumentative sims. I liked my sims to be very likable back then. I probably would have had the same attitude towards conversation topics where I would have picked yes to all the good ones. So we like compliments, we like discussing interests, but we don't like arguments. We don't like malicious interactions. We hate pranks. I would never let my sims do pranks when I was young. I don't know if I would have cared about fashion, but I probably would have picked polished. Again, I was like channeling my mom. <laughs> so I would have picked polished probably. Oh, and I would have loved to have activity likes and dislikes. 
We'd like baking and cooking and gardening. If we had knitting, my Sims would have been doing it. I like to have them play piano and paint sometimes. We would have been doing writing on occasion. Honestly, I probably would have picked yes to like every single hobby and skill if I could. I would have wanted my Sims to do it all. I had kind of generic traits, but I liked my Sims to have a lot of skills. Mostly, honestly, mostly just painting and cooking skills. I loved the art stuff the most. Like all my Sims were painters and writers, but I often used the gardening skill too. And the cooking skill in Sims 3 was really fun because you could go to the bookstore and buy recipe books to learn new recipes. I would have loved the gourmet cooking thing in The Sims 4 when I was a kid. I still love it now, but I'm just thinking back to like when it first came out, I was so impressed by the two cooking skills in The Sims 4. And I would have thought that was like the coolest thing in the world when I was like 10 years old. So I would have 100% had my Sims max both every single time. And honestly, to this day, I never give my Sims decor like and dislikes because I just find it annoying. I take like genuine offense when my Sims say the house is poorly decorated. So I just don't really bother with this. I used to really like this dress for formal wear. Now I mostly only use it for like people's grandmas, but I used to give all my Sims this dress back then. And then I used to use this stuff for athletic wear all the time. I kind of still do, to be honest. I was obsessed with this oversized shirt and the bunny slippers when The Sims 4 first came out. I thought this was so cool. And sometimes I would give them the leggings to go with it. Cause we had these like shorter leggings in the base game. So I used to pair this together always. I remember thinking the party wear category was really cool and I also loved this dress. Honestly, I kind of still do. It still kind of works. But party wear was like a revolutionary outfit category at the time. Swimwear was a sore subject because the Sims 4 base game did not have pools when it first came out, so we didn't even have this at first. And then when we got hot and cold weather, the hot weather category was also kind of revolutionary. We never had this in like the original Sims games, and I used to use this little floral dress and these sandals all the time. And honestly, to this day, I still struggle with the cold weather category with just the base game because there's not really that many options in the base game. But I probably would have worn this. I could see this happening in like 2010. Wow, this is a kind of boring sim. I gotta be honest. I'm I'm like really unimpressed <laughs> by my own decisions. But this is what I would have done. I would have made this sim and then played and then made her again and then played and then done it again over and over and over again. I don't know how many of you also used to play the sims this way. Maybe not to this extreme, but I feel like a lot of us picked the same traits over and over as kids. That couldn't have just been me. I'm kind of curious in the comments. Tell me about what your first sims were like. Did you also make a weird aged up version of yourself with like your dream hair and your dream name as a kid? Let me know in the comments down below. I loved doing this. It's kind of fun to take a little walk down memory lane like this. So hopefully you enjoyed it too. And on that note, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. I only had the base game for a long time, but then I only had the pets pack. And when I only had the pets pack, I always gave my Sims a dog. I would have the dog go hunt for gems and then bring me back money too, every single time without fail. That was my main income source.